thing that they have. And if you ever seen the chip itself, the chip itself is very small. Yeah. It's like the size of a saltine cracker. Imagine a world where memories aren't lost with death, where the echoes of a human mind can be reconstructed and experienced through digital simulation. In a groundbreaking theoretical experiment, researchers have used quantum AI to create a digital twin, a fully simulated model of a human brain, pushing the limits of what we believe is possible in neuroscience. In this article, we delve into every facet of this fascinating conceptual simulation, exploring its implications for science, ethics, and the future of digital consciousness. In the realm of science fiction, the revival of memories long past is a recurring theme. But what if this idea wasn't pure fiction at all? What if advanced quantum computing and artificial intelligence, AI, have finally given us the tools to digitally reconstruct a human brain's neural pathways and simulate the essence of memory itself? This isn't about reanimating a dead brain or resurrecting a person's consciousness. Instead, it's a carefully controlled theoretical experiment, one where a digital twin of a brain is created to simulate neural activity and memory patterns. Researchers ran this experiment to understand whether memories, thought to be ephemeral and deeply tied to the living brain, could actually be mirrored in a digital environment. And what they discovered sent shockwaves through the scientific community. But what happened when they pushed the simulation further? That's where things got eerie. The birth of a digital twin. Digital twins have long been a tool in engineering and medicine, a perfect virtual replica of a physical entity used to simulate real-world conditions. In this case, however, researchers have taken the concept to an entirely new level by applying it to a human brain. Using quantum AI, a form of artificial intelligence that leverages quantum computing principles, the team designed a model to replicate the intricate neural networks of a human brain. This experiment was not an attempt to revive life, but rather a controlled conceptual simulation meant to mirror the brain's activity and, intriguingly, its memory recall processes. How it works. At the heart of this experiment is quantum AI, which distinguishes itself from classical AI by its ability to process multiple states simultaneously through quantum superposition. This means that while traditional AI might process data in a linear fashion, quantum AI can analyze and simulate countless neural interactions at once, mimicking the complexity of the human brain far more effectively. Researchers fed the AI with extensive data, detailed brain scans, neural connectivity maps, and recorded electrical activity from living brains. The goal was to create a model that didn't just store data about the brain, but could actively simulate how memories might be retrieved. The digital twin was then activated in a simulated environment, and the results were nothing short of astonishing. The simulated memories. During the simulation, the digital twin exhibited patterns that closely resembled memory recall. Although these weren't real memories, it was not a case of reviving a person's consciousness. The simulation produced neural pathways and activity that aligned with what one would expect from a brain retrieving a long-forgotten memory. In essence, the experiment suggested that memories might be a fundamental aspect of brain architecture, capable of being mimicked by sufficiently advanced AI. But here's the real question. Was this just a simulation, or could this tech evolve into something more? Neuroscientists weigh in. The scientific community has been abuzz with this theoretical experiment. Neuroscientists emphasize that the digital twin does not represent a new form of life or a pathway to digital immortality. Instead, it offers a glimpse into how memories might be stored and retrieved in the brain. One prominent researcher noted, this experiment is a fascinating peek into the architecture of memory. It challenges our understanding of how memories are encoded, but it's important to remember, this is a simulation, not an actual resurrection of consciousness. Artificial intelligence researchers and quantum physicists. AI experts and quantum physicists have expressed both excitement and caution. The utilization of quantum computing in this context is seen as a significant breakthrough. They explain that the ability of quantum systems to process vast arrays of data simultaneously opens new frontiers in simulating complex biological processes. Yet there is a consensus that while the simulation mimics human neural activity, it doesn't equate to a living mind. What we're seeing is a sophisticated digital mirror of how the brain might work. It's a tool, a way to understand the underlying mechanics of memory, one physicist remarked. 
ethical and philosophical concerns. While the experiment itself is purely conceptual, it has sparked debates on the ethical implications of such technology. Could future developments in digital twin technology lead to scenarios where artificial consciousness is created? Although the current experiment does not attempt to bridge that gap, some experts worry about the long-term consequences. They caution that while we are far from creating a genuine digital consciousness, the mere possibility raises profound questions about the nature of self and identity in the digital age. Memories Beyond Mortality One of the most tantalizing implications of this experiment is the possibility that memories are not as ephemeral as once thought. Traditionally, memories have been considered products of living, active neural networks, transient and easily lost. However, the digital twin's ability to simulate memory recall suggests that the essence of a memory might be captured in the very architecture of the brain's neural network. This raises the theoretical possibility that memories, or at least the structure of how they are stored, could persist long after the biological brain ceases to function. AI-generated consciousness? Not yet. A recurring topic among theorists is whether a simulation like this could one day cross the threshold from mimicking consciousness to actually becoming conscious. Some speculative ideas in quantum neuroscience propose that human cognition might be influenced by quantum processes. If this is true, then it might be possible for AI simulations to eventually approximate human thought more closely than ever before. However, it is crucial to underscore that this experiment is a conceptual simulation. It does not imply that the digital twin possesses self-awareness or genuine memories. It is, instead, a powerful tool for modeling how memory might work without any claim of reviving a mind. If this concept blows your mind, imagine what's coming next. Subscribe so you don't miss the next breakthroughs in Quantum AI. The line between simulation and reality. The implications of such research stretch far beyond theoretical neuroscience. They force us to confront questions that blur the lines between simulation and reality. If a digital twin can replicate neural activity with such precision, how do we define consciousness? Is a mind merely the sum of its neural connections, or is there something ineffable about the human experience that no simulation can capture? For now, these remain open-ended questions, but as the technology advances, the debate will only intensify. What is a digital twin? At its core, a digital twin is a virtual replica of a physical object or system. In industries like manufacturing, healthcare, and urban planning, digital twins allow for simulations that can predict performance, identify issues, and optimize systems. When applied to a human brain, a digital twin becomes a tool for exploring the complex interactions that give rise to thought, memory, and consciousness. It is a model, a reflection of the real system, built from data and refined through simulation. The role of quantum AI Traditional computing has its limitations when it comes to simulating the complexities of the human brain. That's where quantum AI comes in. By leveraging the principles of quantum mechanics, quantum AI is capable of handling and processing vast amounts of data at speeds unimaginable with classical computers. This ability to work with multiple data points simultaneously, thanks to quantum superposition, allows quantum AI to create a highly detailed and dynamic simulation of neural networks. The experimental setup. In the experiment, researchers began by collecting extensive data from human brain scans. They mapped out neural pathways, captured electrical signals, and recorded the dynamic interactions that occur as the brain processes information. This data was then used to train the quantum AI, which in turn constructed a digital twin of a human brain. Once the simulation was operational, the digital twin was activated in a controlled, virtual environment to see if it could mimic the process of memory recall. What if I told you this isn't just a simulation, but something far more real? Why this matters. Understanding how memories are stored and retrieved is one of the holy grails of neuroscience. With the aging global population and the prevalence of neurodegenerative diseases, 
Breakthroughs in this area could lead to new treatments and technologies that help preserve or restore memory function. While the current experiment is theoretical, it lays the groundwork for future research that could one day have profound implications for medicine and human cognition. Replicating the experiment. The next phase of research involves replicating this experiment with multiple digital twins. Scientists want to determine if the simulated memory patterns are consistent across different brain models and if they vary with different types of data. By comparing the outcomes, researchers hope to gain deeper insights into the underlying principles of memory storage. Applications in medicine. One of the most promising applications of this technology is in the field of medicine. Imagine a future where doctors can simulate a patient's brain to understand the progression of neurological diseases such as Alzheimer's or Parkinson's. By modeling the changes in neural connectivity, physicians could potentially identify early markers of disease and develop targeted interventions before significant damage occurs. Ethical and societal considerations. As with any groundbreaking technology, there are significant ethical and societal questions to address. While the digital twin in this experiment is purely a conceptual simulation, the idea of creating a model that can mimic aspects of human cognition raises concerns about privacy, consent, and the potential for misuse. For instance, if future simulations were to become increasingly sophisticated, could they be used to manipulate or replicate an individual's personality? These questions are currently the subject of heated debate among ethicists, scientists, and policymakers alike. The military and corporate interests. Another aspect driving this research is the substantial investment from both the private sector and the military. These stakeholders see immense potential in technologies that can predict neurological outcomes or simulate complex systems. However, the involvement of such powerful entities also adds layers of complexity when it comes to regulation, oversight, and public trust. Ensuring that such research remains transparent and ethically sound will be crucial as the technology continues to evolve. And here's the scariest part. What happens if these digital models start making their own decisions? Bridging the gap between theory and reality. While the current experiment is a theoretical simulation, it serves as an important stepping stone toward understanding the potential for digital representations of human cognition. Researchers are cautious, emphasizing that while the digital twin can simulate neural activity and memory recall, it does not possess self-awareness or consciousness. The experiment is a tool, a sophisticated way to probe the mysteries of the brain without crossing the line into creating real digital life. The nature of memory. If memories can be simulated, what does that say about their nature? Are they merely patterns of electrical activity or is there an intangible quality that cannot be captured by algorithms? The experiment suggests that the fundamental architecture of memory may be more resilient and independent than we once believed. However, it is vital to remember that the simulation does not replicate a living brain's consciousness. It only mimics the structure and function of memory retrieval. Implications for Digital Immortality One of the more provocative questions raised by this research is whether we are moving toward a future where digital immortality becomes possible. While the idea of storing memories and even personality traits in a digital format has long been a staple of science fiction, the reality is far more nuanced. The current experiment is a theoretical exploration designed to understand the mechanisms of memory, not to offer a blueprint for eternal life. Nevertheless, the implications are profound. Could our digital footprints one day serve as a legacy of who we once were? And if so, what would that mean for our understanding of life and death? The future of consciousness. Ultimately, this research forces us to re-examine the very definition of consciousness. Is consciousness an emergent property of neural complexity, or is it something more? While the digital twin does not claim to possess self-awareness, its ability to simulate memory recall raises the possibility that with further advancements, the gap between simulation and genuine consciousness might begin to blur. For now, these remain open questions, intellectual puzzles that will continue to intrigue scientists, philosophers, and ethicists for decades to come. 
This theoretical experiment using quantum AI to create a digital twin of a human brain is not just a scientific curiosity, it is a gateway to deeper understanding of the human mind. While the experiment remains a controlled conceptual simulation, its implications are far-reaching and touch on some of the most profound questions about life, memory, and the future of technology. As we continue to explore these frontiers, we must remain both curious and cautious. While the digital twin experiment is a conceptual simulation and far from creating a real digital consciousness, it pushes us to rethink our assumptions about memory and identity. The journey from theoretical research to practical application is long, but every step brings us closer to unlocking the mysteries of the human brain. This experiment is a testament to human ingenuity and our relentless pursuit of understanding consciousness. By using quantum AI to simulate neural pathways, researchers have unlocked possibilities that challenge our understanding of memory and what it means to be human. While safely within theoretical research, its implications are vast. If we can simulate memory, could we one day enhance cognitive function? What ethical dilemmas must we navigate as we step into this new realm of digital neuroscience? Each experiment brings us closer to a future where biological and digital life blur. Quantum computing and AI now offer unprecedented insights into the brain's inner workings, redefining our understanding of intelligence and memory. If you found this exploration as fascinating as we did, join the conversation. Could this technology help treat neurological diseases, or is it purely a theoretical tool? Share your thoughts in the comments. Subscribe for more groundbreaking discoveries, and let's continue unlocking the secrets of the digital mind together. Mind together.